Okay, to balance this combustion reaction, we'll first draw a table so we can account for all of the atoms. So on the reactant side, we have a carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. And we have two carbons, we have six hydrogens, and we have two oxygens. On the product side, we have only one carbon. We have two oxygens here, but we also have one over here with the water. So we have a total of three oxygens. Let's start by fixing the carbons. I need two on this side, so if I put a two right here, two and the one, that'll give me two. But now I've got to update my oxygens. So let's delete that. We have two times two, four oxygens, plus that one we have with the water. So we have five oxygens. I need six hydrogens on both sides. So two times three, that'll give me six. So let's put a three here, two times that three. Now we have six hydrogens, that's balanced. But our oxygens have changed again, so we need to update that information. So we have two times two, that's four, plus we have the three times the one, that's three. So we have a total of seven oxygens. And this is where it gets a little awkward. You have seven oxygens here and two oxygens here. You can't easily multiply to get a whole number. But what we could do, we know two times seven over two, that would equal 14 over two or seven. So if we put a seven over two right here, our equation's balanced. Now we don't have whole numbers yet, but that's pretty easily remedied. Let's multiply the entire equation by two. So if I multiply this by two, the coefficient would be two. Two times seven over two, well that equals seven. Two times two is four, and two times three is six. Now I can just replace those numbers with the coefficients in blue. So by doubling these, I have the same ratio, which is the key to balancing equations, and I don't have any fractions in it. I have whole numbers. So this is Dr. B with the balanced equation for this combustion reaction, and thanks for watching.